Hello this is James from Compton, New York. In this video, I'll show you more easily how to install Windows with the portable SSD I covered in the previous video and use it in my MacBook. To install Windows 10 using a portable SSD, you need the following accessories. Portable SSD at least 16 gigabytes or more USB flash drive, USB type C adapter, USB network adapter, USB keyboard and mouse, Windows desktop or laptop, the SSD I chose in this video is the NIDIC 250GB portable SSD I bought from Amazon. An external SSD priced at $39.99 and up to 500MB per second. It's made of small, light aluminum. Now, first plug your USB flash drive into a computer that runs Windows, open a browser, and download the Windows 10 ISO file. Download and install the Windows Creation Tool and download it to desktop by selecting the option as an ISO file. As you can see, I've already downloaded it here. Hit Rufus on Google and download the latest version of Rufus, open Rufus 3.8 and install Windows 10 on the USB flash drive. Be careful not to use the image option Windows to go. If you choose the Windows to go option, it usually takes a lot longer than installing bootable Windows 10. Now it's all set up. Now let's copy the flash USB drive with Windows to go to the portable SSD. First, plug the portable SSD into the USB port. To copy this, download and install the free software, Minitool Partition, via the link below. Open the Minitool Partition and check which flash drive and portable drive you are connected to. On my computer, you can see D and E drives. From the left menu, press Copy Disk Wizard and start copy. First, Select Flash Drive D, for copy, and then select Target Disk as Portable SSD for copy. Copy option is selected as fit partitions to entire disk because it is larger than flash drive. When that happens, automatically resizes each partition to copy the disk. Press the Apply button at the bottom of the left menu to start copy. It takes about 3 to 4 minutes. Now the copy has been completed. As you can see, Flash drive has been perfectly copied as portable drive. Now I will boot from MacBook with the copied portable drive. Before booting, insert accessories in the following order. First, insert the USB Type-C adapter and then insert the portable SSD and the USB network adapter into the adapter. Plug the USB keyboard and mouse into the USB port on the USB network adapter because the USB port is insufficient. The first time you boot to Windows 10, the network and mouse pad will not work because the boot camp driver is missing. Before the boot camp driver is installed, connect it to the USB port and use it temporarily. When you're done, turn on the power and press the option button to select the target to boot to EFI. This is the last step in Windows 10 installation.
if the MacBook turns off during boot, don't panic and turn it back on and start booting with EFI. This process will take 20 to 30 minutes. Now you're done with Windows 10. Since the Boot Camp driver has not been installed, we will use the USB mouse and keyboard to install the Boot Camp driver. Personally, I prefer to download and install this Brigadier. Because it is cumbersome to download and move it from Mac OS. Tap Brigadier X from Google and download the file. When you open the downloaded file, make sure you click with the right mouse to open it as run as administrator. When you run this file, you will automatically check your MacBook version and download the driver for it. If the DOS window closes in the middle, don't panic and do the same again. Now we're done downloading, a Boot Camp driver folder has been created in the download folder. Go inside and open the setup exe file with run as administrator. Now install the Boot Camp driver. This process takes about 5 to 8 minutes. When you are finished installing, you will be prompted to restart the window. Before rebooting the computer, you don't need any accessories that are already connected, so remove them all, connect only the portable SSD to the USB Type-C port, and reboot the MacBook. Don't forget to always choose the option key. So you've learned how to use Windows 10 with a portable SSD. You can carry it with you whenever you need, and you can compute in a Windows environment in this way. Thanks for watching.